Chancel Mbemba is at last set for a move this summer, having been frozen out of Rafa Bentez's plans. The lot 20 months the DR Congo International has made only 12 league starts and hasn't even been named amongst Rafa's subs since December in the Premier League. On Thursday it was revealed, see below, that Newcastle had offered Chancel Mbemba as part of a double deal to Wanderlecht with Matt Sells. Now Het Newsblad are saying things have progressed to the point where Anderlecht will be talking personal terms with Mbemba's people this week. If Anderlecht can't get a deal agreed, the Belgian newspaper says that as well as clubs from other countries, both Club Brugge and Standard Liege are waiting in the wings. The Mag, the 24th of May 2018, on Wednesday there was news from the Belgian media that Anderlecht were very close to completing the permanent transfer of Matt Sells, see below. The keeper having impressed on loan and seen as a cornerstone of the club's attempts to get back to winning the domestic title and qualifying for the Champions League, the only potential way that clubs in Belgium can make serious money. Apart from that is when they end up selling their best players. Now HLN over in Belgium report that their information is that Newcastle Unite DC have offered them the opportunity to take Chancel and Bamba back in a bargain double deal with Cells. They say that Newcastle have told them that if the defender is added into any deal they can have both for around 8 meters euros, approximately 7 million pounds. However, they add that the deal for the keeper isn't relying on Chancel Mbemba having to be included as well, with his move set to go through regardless. Mbemba arrived three years ago along with Alexander Mitrovic from Anderlecht, the DR Congo costing a reported 10 meters euros at the time. Despite relegation he was popular with the fans and generally regarded as having been one of Newcastle's better players, against not exactly stiff competition and started 33 of the 38 Peta Leaders games. Rafa played him alongside Jamal Lassels in that late fight against relegation as Newcastle were unbeaten in their final six games and then that was the preferred partnership as NUFC settled into trying to get out of the championship. However, he and Lassels had a nightmare in a home defeat to Wolves in September 2016, with the former Anderlecht player the one to make way for Kieran Clark. The Irish international going on to be Newcastle's player of the year. In the last 20 months, Chancel Mbemba has subsequently made only 12 league starts under Rafa and those have almost all come about due to injuries, or the odd time the manager has gone with 3-5 at the back. With repeated rumors of Rafa Benitez not liking the player's attitude, Chancel Mbemba hasn't even been named amongst the substitutes in a Premier League match since December. If the £7 million double deal offer for the pair is close to the mark, safe to say the pair are valued roughly at the same price. Having paid around £9 million for him and Mbemba having impressed in that debut season, no doubt many Newcastle fans will think it would be giving him away on the cheap. However, the player is totally not wanted by Rafa and there is a desperate need to clear bigger wage earners out who won't be of any use. So with it being most unlikely any other Premier League club would see him as a potential first-team option, both Chancel and Bamba and Newcastle will have to be realistic on the money side, if any club in a league such as in Belgium is going to take him. HLN add that they understand that Anderlecht aren't even interested at this bargain price Newcastle have offered if they take Chancel and Bamba as well, with a further drop in price 3 needed to tempt them. Whatever the transfer fees involved, if any in some case, Rafa must be determined to move on Cells, Mbemba, Savit, Lazar, Kolbach, and a few more. The Mag, Wednesday, the 23rd of May, HLN are reporting that negotiations are almost successfully concluded for the permanent transfer of Metzels to Anderlecht. 
They say that whilst Newcastle United were hoping to get back as much of the near £6 million they paid for the goalkeeper back in summer 2016, they have been realistic and willing to help get the deal done. Matt Sells played the first nine games of the championship season but after conceding a poor late equaliser at Villa Park, he was never seen again in an NUFC League match. Once Rob Elliott regained full fitness after 2017 New Year, the Belgian even lost his place on the bench. Sells has played 37 times for Anderlecht when on loan this past season, including in the Champions League. ALN say that personal terms have already been agreed between the player and Anderlecht, with a five-year contract ready to be activated once the two club reach agreement on price. When moving on loan last season, Matt Sells became the best-paid player ever to play in the Belgian domestic league, so it appears that not only NUFC have had to Be realistic in terms of transfer fee, but the keeper as well with his wage demands, surely set to take a drop in pay to help get regular football. Newcastle have seen far too many players refusing to move once it is clear they have no future at NUFC, especially signings from abroad who end up getting wages beyond their ability and beyond what clubs can afford in their native countries. Both Gabriel Auburn and Sylvain Marvo hung on for the final five years before coming out of contract last summer, despite no chance of getting a game. Whilst Masadio Haidara refused to move back to France as it would have meant a drop in wages, he will be out of contract after clinging on for the full five and a half years. As well as Alexander Mitrovic set to be snapped up, Rafa Benitez will be hoping that, as well as Matt Sells, the likes of Savit, Kolbach, Mbemba, Lazar and others will be prepared to take a pay cut to help themselves get new clubs which will also massively help Rafa as he looks to buy and sell this summer. As for Anderlecht, they are moving early in the transfer window and after failing to qualify for the Champions League as well as missing out on the league title, they are making a statement of intent. Wednesday morning saw them announce three new signings for next season, with Antonio Milik, Knowledge Musona and Luka Ajic joining, with Matt Sells expected to shortly follow. As for Matt Sells, he was announced this week as one of 28 players in the Belgium preliminary World Cup squad, hoping to make final 23-man cut.